Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. And stay safe out on those roads. Well, let me see here. Hey, there's Earl. Good morning. And uh, Joe Barbera, good morning to you. Now, let me see here. Today we celebrate St. Andrew, Archbishop of Crete, and uh, his troparian, emulating David, you sang a new song in the Assembly of the Righteous. As an initiate of the Holy Spirit, you guided us with hymns of grace and the word of righteousness for our salvation. O Andrew, glory of the fathers. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we can say good morning to Robin. Good morning, Robin. Good morning to you, too. And it's going to be hot here today. And, oh, yes. And it's going to be hot where you are, even hotter. Oh, yeah. It's been close, just below, between 95 and 100 the Whoa. last two days. Not and that... it'll be continuing. Oh, not good. Not good. Well, I'll, I'll have to leave here early and uh, go do my chores before it gets hot. Really hot. So. Oh, absolutely. In the cool of the morning. So. Well, let me see here. Why don't you start us out with uh, our scriptures this morning? We've got Romans 14, verses 9 through 18. And then we go to the Gospel of Matthew. It's chapter 12, 14 through 16, continuing into verses 22 through 30. Here's Romans, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For to this end Christ died and rose and lived again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you show contempt for your brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then... Each of us shall give account to himself to God. Therefore, let us not judge one another any more, but rather resolve this, not to put a stumbling block or a cause to fall in our brother's way. I know and I am convinced by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him who considers anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. Yet if your brother is grieved because of your food, you are no longer walking in love. Do not destroy with your food the one whom Christ died for. Therefore, do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in these things is acceptable to God and approved by man. Amen. And Matthew 12. The Pharisees went out and plotted against him, how they might destroy him. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. Yet he warned them not to make him known. And it jumps to 22. Then one was brought to him, who was demon-possessed, blind and mute. And he healed him, so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. And all the multitudes were amazed and said, Could this be the son of David? Now, when the Pharisees heard of it, it, they said, This fellow does not cast out demons, except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom is divided 
every kingdom divided it rule every kingdom against itself is is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself will not stand if satan casts out satan he is divided against himself how then will he kingdom stand and if i cast out demons by beelzebub by whom do your sons cast them out therefore they shall be judges but if i cast out demons by the spirit of god surely the kingdom of god has come upon you or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. You wanted to say a house divided against itself, slipping into yeah, Mark. It just, yeah, it was, it kept coming, wanting to yeah. come out the other way. Yeah, it slipped right into the Gospel of Mark there for a second. Mm -hmm. well, well, let's say hello to everybody. Let me see. There's Barb Anderson. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning and happy 4th of July. Prayers for all. There's our little sister, Lena May and uh, Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. Praying our 4th of July is blessed with peace and celebration of our many blessings from God and America. Amen. Maria Fenton down there in uh, Ocala, Florida. She's at St. Basil's, and Father Leosis, Demetrius Leosis, is home, I'm told. That's great news. And good morning, Nellie Cartvelli down there in New York City. Good morning, Nellie. Another little sister of mine. And over here, Jonathan Nichols. Good morning, and happy Independence Day, Steve, Robin, Pippin, and everyone. And he has, count them, three cups of coffee. Now, you've got... Cold coffee there, right? Iced coffee. That's right. I, that's it. Mm. It lets me have a voice. Well, I like the hot coffee. But you do as you will. Let me see here. Joe Barbera, greetings from Joe. And happy 4th of July. Same to you, Joe. And uh, Joey. And Violetta. Good morning, Steve and everyone. Happy Independence Day. You too, Violetta. There's Earl and Vicky down there in Nashville, Tennessee. Good morning. Amber Tremaine, good morning, everyone. Happy 4th of July. Zach Flatten this morning. Good morning, Zach. And he's in Fairfield, Connecticut today. And uh, Are you driving on the 4th of July? Day off. Oh, go home. But Lord, we pray that you keep Zach safe on those roads. Amen. Let me see. Elioni Shanera, good morning. Steve, Robin, Jonathan, Joe, Amber. Catherine and everyone. And what is she here for? To remind us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Amen. Happy 4th to you all. There's Catherine Houston. Good morning, everyone. Happy and blessed 4th of July. Amen. And uh, Rob King, prayer. happy 4th. Prayers for all. Amen. Oh, love it. All righty. Well, I think we've said hello to everybody. So what do you say you lead us in prayer this morning? Absolutely. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life, Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities. For thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things, visible and invisible, and one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before our worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, who ever workest great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind, Thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, 
enlighten the eyes of our understanding and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly and the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And there's Wilson Salviejo out there in Vancouver. Good morning to you, Wilson. And Zach Flatten is working today. And, uh, oh, so... Stay safe out there. There's going to be a lot of traffic, I think, on the roads on the 4th of July. So be safe, my friend. Be safe. Lord, protect them. Well, we're going to say good morning to you all. And uh, so I can go down to the barn and get my chores out of the way before it gets too hot. I'm an old man, you know. So, so we'll be back this evening uh, for the Gospel Minute Live, Jonathan and I. And Lord, we pray that Jonathan is not in too much pain. He had a tooth extraction yesterday. So, we pray all, all is well there. And uh, so, oh, Robin. Two things. I forgot to put my hand up. <laughs> what are those two things? God loves us. He really, really, really does. We love you. We love each other. We really, really, really do. Amen to that. Amen to that. So, my friends, keep that in mind and have a great day. Now, may God bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tonight. Oh, give thanks unto you.